So you win the championship. Uh, you're being courted to become uh, head coach of an NBA team in Atlanta. On top of all of that, you and your wife got married late, so started having kids late, and all of a sudden you're uh, adopting. Well, yeah, what happened, we won it. My daughter was five, and it didn't work out after that, so we said, you know, we wanted to uh, 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 adopt a baby. When we won the national championship, we had the parade. And our governor at the time, John Engler, had gone through the same thing we went through, the fertility things and all the things that you go through. And when I was talking to him and I said, you know, we're looking to adopt. He said, you know, we were looking for that too. And he said, I'll, uh, you know, after it all settles down, give me a call someday. A month or two goes by. And I said to my wife one day, uh, I'm gonna call the governor and take him up on his offer to see if he can help, you know? Cause it was very difficult to, to adopt. So I'm talking to him and uh, he's giving me, he says, get a pen and paper, you know, write this lawyer down in this place in Kansas city. And he was trying to be very helpful and, uh, and I appreciate it. And all of a sudden my secretary comes in and she says, Nick Saban's on the phone. I said, tell him I'll call him back. You know, I'm talking, I didn't tell her I was talking. I said, just tell him I'll call him back in a little bit. She came back and said, Nick says it's important. I said, tell Nick, I'm talking to the governor, you know? He's not that important. <laughs> then he calls my wife. Nick couldn't wait, he called me. And I was coming down the stairs and picked up the phone and he said, are you sitting down? I said, sure, yeah, what? And he says, a, a baby boy was just born, are you interested? And I literally fell out of the stairs. I said, yeah, I just sat down, I said, yeah. Absolutely. We were on some adoption rosters, I guess, and Bethany in, in uh, Grand Rapids was one, and Nick put us on with one that he knew of in Virginia, West Virginia. And so where he was from, she tells me that Nick called and the doctor that, you know, it was a private adoption. And we went through and uh, had called him and, and said they had a little boy and um, we had like two days to decide. So I called the governor back and I said, you're not gonna believe what just happened. I mean, all this in about an hour. Yeah, well, you know, we had used Dr. Coleman, who is, you know, probably an angel from God when it comes to, you know, placing children and helping people. And I told Tommy, I said, you know, this lady's great. You know, she, so I called her and she was more than willing and happy to try to help them. And uh, I guess it worked out great for him. We expedited it all. They had a home study on Sunday. And Monday we went down and picked up Stephen. What was that like going down to pick him up? It was kind of scary for me because already there was talk about maybe this was going to happen. And I was frightened that it wasn't going to happen. And so I just said, Tom, let's just go. And we went. It, it touches you even <laughs> thinking about it now? Yeah. What, what is it uh, that's so emotional? because I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't have Stephen. Now, Stephen's such a big part of our lives and such a big part of my life. And um, we, we went down there. I'm not kidding. When I first saw Stephen, he, he put his arms out to me. And he was four days old and he put his arms out. There's just no way that I was ever gonna be, he, we were gonna be separated anymore after that. You know, everybody wants to have their own and and we had Raquel and everything was great. But the, the, the cool part of it was, you know, we went down. My wife's Hispanic, I'm Italian. And this guy was an albino. He was hair was white and, and uh, we saw him and it took about maybe 10 seconds and it didn't feel it was any different than your own. It just took here holding him, that's our child. You know, it was, Immediately, I think, immediately. It was one of the neat things that I'd always tell people, you know, if you go through things, adopt. You know, somebody's waiting for you. And uh, it was great for us. And, and he's been absolutely awesome. What do you think you learned going through the, the adoption experience? There's a lot of bureaucracy in, in adoption. And that's the only thing I, to this day, I wish it would change. I understand the reasons. I think there's a lot of good people that would adopt and, and yet it's a, 
it's a process. But I also learned the way it was worth it, you know? And uh, at the end, it was, it was all worth it.